I'm one of the two sound effects guys who uh, works on Aquarium Companion. And I pretty well started when the show first started in the mid-70s and uh, started doing sound effects vocally. And then Garrison gave me some uh, lines to do in addition to sound effects. And because I had to do it at the same time, I came up with some props. And things just got bigger and bigger and bigger. So uh, pretty much use sound effects uh, technique that they used, well, years ago. I first see the scripts um, Friday uh, for the first rehearsal and uh, go through the scripts to see what I have and uh, highlight my sound effects. And then I have to go into my sound effects box here and uh, see what I have that could probably, hopefully, reproduce the sounds that are, are asked for. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I do the best I can. And I will speak to no one, no one! We're gonna poke you in the snoots, spin on your shoes and cut off your ties, cut your lunches down to size. When you ask a sound effects guy just to bring out some of his stuff, well... <laughs> It's like opening a big closet of stuff. Two important things you, to have when you do sound effects, when you begin with, is shoes, because there's always somebody walking. So I went to the Goodwill and uh, looked for shoes with real hard heels, because I need that good clicking sound of walking. And uh, I have some sandpaper on the bottom that I use in case they're walking on a, say, a really concrete sidewalk, so you can that sound and of course doors you have to have a door because someone's going to go through a door somewhere sometime and when we do uh, the uh, western bit you have to have horses and so usually what they use in the old days uh, were coconut shells that cut in half and uh, if you're on, uh, on a regular street you could just do this and then if you had a fancy a carriage that you were driving along with. You'd want to take my keys out here and give it kind of a give it a little bit of the, the bridal stuff. Otherwise, you're out on the prairie roaming with the horses. Thanks for reading my novel. Oh yeah, it took me a while. Kept falling asleep. <laughs> Not enough action for you, huh? Oh, here's what I think of your novel. Look out! Hey. Hey, <laughs> you know, that was my only copy there, Mr. Marigold. Oh, really? I wish you hadn't done that, frankly. <laughs> yeah, you just blew four big holes in yeah. another man's manuscript. Well, it's called editing. The thing is full of talk, 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 talk. I mean, Western novels are not about dialogue. They're about this. What? Yeah, and about this. Hey. And about this where you... <laughs> you just knocked out my partner. The sound of breaking wood. Uh, they used to use peach crates and raspberry cartons in the old days. And so I had, they don't make those anymore, so I had to look for something. And what I got were uh, plates, styrofoam plates, the compartmentalized ones is important because uh, not all styrofoam is, is stiff. Some of it's kind of mushy, so it doesn't make a good cracking sound like this. Walking through snow is uh, something you probably all have at home, and it's cornstarch. Well, uh, there was one time, again, it was uh, winter time, and uh, Garrison had the sound of a car stuck in snow trying to get out. And I like to use props, so I tried to think of something that would work. I didn't, couldn't come up with anything, so I basically I was in my apartment trying to think of how to do that and the car did get stuck outside the window and I just listened to it and uh, tried to reproduce the sound and it just kind of came out like <laughs> and the, the, the listeners love that, the audience loves that. The sound of rigging uh, on, a, on a ship, maybe I might use a, a balloon for that and you need to set up the, the scene. Seagulls, things like that. Migration is a, is a long haul. Loons, for example, always begin in a sort of a spirit of excitement and exhilaration. It's the challenge of uh, trying to come up with uh, some 
prop that would uh, work as a great sound effect. Um, and it's always a great feeling when it does work. And uh, there's been a few times when I've listened to the replay of the show the next day and said, you know, that didn't work. So uh, just coming up with something that really, really works is warms my heart.